And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Shadow Peak for our first Meme Tier Monday deck today. We got four off the wall decks that should be a lot of fun. Meme Tier Mondays always are. Our first deck today is going to be a Targon's Peak deck with Shadow Isles. So Targon's Peak, of course, reduced the cost of a random card in each player's hand to zero this round. And we're going to have a whole lot of top end because we want a random card reduced to zero. So we're going to have all these cool expensive cards. Where really what our kind of combo is, what we're trying to achieve is win the games with Commander Ledros. So if we can make Ledros cost zero, we can play it, reduce half of their um, their health from their Nexus. And we can combine that with Atrocity. And so we can one turn kill them with by playing Ledros and Atrocity in the same turn. Or maybe, we, you know, same kind of thing. We could make Atrocity cost zero and then, you know, cast Ledros and then, and then Atrocity it. Um, or we also have Spectral Matron in here, where if we make Spectral Matron cost zero, we can play it, summon a copy of Ledros, um, and then uh, also be able to, like, Atrocity the, the Ledros that we summon. Um, now, of course, whenever whenever you do summon the copy, it does. We don't get like the playability that gets rid of half of their nexus damage, but it's still a nine power card that we could atrocity. So that's also um, something. So yeah, so that's that's what we kind of have is like atrocity with those, and of course also a really soul, another great card to atrocity, but also just you know another great card to make cost zero with Targon's Peak. Um, we have three ruinations in here, so we can make our ruinations cost zero. Uh, to blow up the whole board, and then even a Sky's Descend, which is you know basically a one mana or one sided ruination, for the most part. So surviving early game is going to be tough because we don't really have too much. Um, you can really see like how our deck is really relying on Targon's Peak and then all this expensive stuff. So that's going to be the card that we are just going to be mulliganing hard for Targon's Peak. You know maybe we'll keep like a Lease or Shield Bear early to do some blocking for us, but for the most part. This is the card that we definitely need here for uh, our first meme tier deck. So let's go have some fun. We're going to just go play in normal with it being meme tier day and us doing these uh, some silly stuff today. All right, so we got some scouts. So this is really where we want like Skies Descend and Ruination. Um, I'll keep a Shield Bearer to block, but besides that, we're looking for the peak. Okay, well, I guess... I guess we got Shield Bear to block. <laughs> Hopefully Shield Bear is good. Because that's all I got. Alright, Ruination on turn 6 could be really nice. We can, you know, have space out these Shield Bears. And then, boom, Ruination. I could see that being pretty good. Saves two life. That's all right. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. I could let's see. I could cast Withering Will right now, so it just uses my mana kind of better. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Not too bad of a Withering Well. Looks like the Badger Bear and the Bright Steel Protector like to hang out. Um. You cannot sway me. Certainly possible that they play. Okay, cool. I was gonna say it's certainly possible they play Relentless Pursuit right there, which I would not necessarily want, but it'd be possible. 
And I, I don't think I can really risk just like passing priority to them and then they play, you know, then they just go to their turn and go straight to attacks. I'm glad not Relentless Pursuit though. Just like honey thresher geese. In shining sunlight. I'm glad not relentless pursuit. Soldiers to me. Forward in the name of the Solari. Valor to me. So this is me taking nine damage. Oh no, 10, right. Hmm. GG's. They got me. Timo Draven. So yeah, you know, like we're just trying to do our, our fun meme tier stuff today, and you know, like Scouts is like a, a, one of the best tier one decks and very aggressive, you know, very good. Um, and now you know, like we're we're playing against a, a good burn deck. We, where's our slower decks? We want to face slower decks. Give us some time to Targon's peak and everything. Reporting in. Yeah, we don't need turn one Teemo. A turn one champion and elusive champion attacking. Yeah, never know what hit him. For everyone. We're just trying to do something silly over here. We want to be facing like the slow Targon decks. Coming in hot. You won't suffer long. Um, sure, Bobby. And so yeah, so you're, if you're a new player, uh, I recommend this uh, little resource here. There you go. I have the best job. So I can go Skitterer and make it so the Teemo doesn't hit me, but then, you know, they can change that with the Spinning Axe. I think instead I'd rather just have, like, the Shield Bear make a really good blocker on the Draven, because if I go Skitterer, I don't really have a good blocker on the Draven besides just throwing away a Spiderling. This does mean that the Teemo hits me, but, you know, I'm just basically taking the one. Where's our Targon's Peak? I know what lurks in the shadow. Uh, yeah, I want to play the Skitter on defense. Um, yeah, I don't get to really do anything with Elise here. I'm basically just playing the Elise and passing. I'm gonna save the Star Shaping. I want I want to be able to heal all five damage with the Star Shaping. I don't want to play it right now, like where we're only healing three. I have my orders. <laughs> I am superior life form. This deck maybe has too much like singular removal, right? Like it I don't know. Well I guess it has two two sunbursts, three vengeance, three ruination. Let's do this. Our deck doesn't really have cheaper cards. What's your hurry? Time for the money makers. So young. Ooh, quite a collection. So why are people running get excited? Um, because of the importance of three health champ like the question is why would people be playing get excited in Ezreal Draven? And I have to say the importance of uh, three mana, or three, sorry, three health champions between Misfortune, Draven, Ezreal, 
Jinx, um, like the three health champions are very, very uh, popular, and so being able to kill those for three mana is really nice. And then, uh, and then the Draven Ezreal deck's also all about Nexus damage, and so get excited. Uh, just, you know, adds with all the other stuff it has for Nexus damage for finishing games. So obviously I hope they don't have too many more uh, units they get to just play immediately. I do have, like, you know, like, I do have Vengeance this time. I didn't have that last time, like, where if they play something big that's an attacker, I can Vengeance it. So this will stop that Teemo from hitting me, being leveled up. Stop that uh, Ballistic Bot from making the Ignitions. Um, yeah, just Burn Spell. So yeah, another Star Shaping would be like our best draw. How many Star Shapings we got in here? Three. Good. Three Guiding Touch also. There we go. Yeah, that's like our best draw. Try to cancel out these Burn Spells they're playing. I guess I could play the Destroyer. Yeah, where's our where's our Targon's Peak, right? Yeah, our deck is really built around Targon's Peak. So we're down to four. Mm. Down to six. Stop. <laughs> These buff gaps. Alright, so they're gonna make two daring poros. And that's a very nice frenzied skitter. You know, you know, like have a lot of other ways we could deal with that anyway. But frenzied skitter makes that pretty easy. So this is just lethal attacking right now. So I'll just do that. I, I mean, we could play like something else, like right, like we could play like Spectral Matron, putting in Ledros. They'd have the yeah. I'm at five. They they can't draw a, a deal five card. These are both fearsome. There's not like a one mana deal five, is there? Awesome. All right, so we, we won a game without Targon's Peak. It was a, a perfect ruination, right? We ruinationed and all they had was burn spells, and then we drew that star shaping. That star shaping was clutch, you know, like we ended the game at five. So that was a perfect draw there too, so uh, worked out great for us. Oh no, Scouts again. Scouts is maybe a little bit too tier one for us. We really need Targon's Peak, and then like free ruination and stuff like that. All right, well, let's send that back. Maybe we get a Targon Speak? No, but I guess we'll have our Shield Bear Elise kind of stuff like we had before. Star Shaping's good. Yay, Targon Speak. Come closer. I don't bite. Yeah, we did the 1v1 yesterday, Gucci. Versus Mafia Plot. He beat me up pretty bad with Teemo Sejuani. Uh, let's just keep the mana. I don't need to play a 3-2 uh, shield bear. Alright, so 
Could end up being a pretty decent... Yeah, yeah. yeah, this could end up being a pretty decent Withering Whale, because these things are going to go to one health. Really glad they didn't have um, Relentless Pursuit right there. You cannot sway me. Just block that. I mean, it's just a 2-2, it's a but it can attack multiple times. Back to back? Gross. So, you know, I could atrocity the, the shield bearer there. I'll, I'll play this shield bearer though and, and atrocity this one. That's my goal. Nah, I guess I guess I should, probably should have done that one. I don't know. Well, hopefully, hopefully this works. No, they had the sharp side. Same, same thing that happened last game. My opponent just had you know, the, the sharp side for, for lethal whenever we were going to barely stay alive. So it's possible our deck is maybe a little too meme tier for scouts. <laughs> scouts is a tier one deck for sure. All right. Get rid of all these. I'm gonna keep Ruination. Ruination should be awesome in this matchup. I could keep Shield Bearer. It's a good, you know, good blocker. But I really want to find Targon's Peak. Where's our Targon's Peak? We are very bad at drawing Targon Peak. We we did have it last game. We've had it one game so far. Pass the turn. the turn. I'm, the problem is I, I don't know if I'm going to actually be able to behold another Celestial card. I, like, the Supernova is fine, but I guess we have a lot of removal anyway. I guess I'll just take this Living Legends. No, not playing that forever. Maybe our deck should be using the 3 mana destroy a landmark, landmark or draw a landmark. For how important having Targon's Peak is with everything costing six plus mana in our deck. Only the finest serve. Targon's Peak. Nope. Hot on the trail. So I have nine cards. Finally. It can't be. Line up. I'm through waiting. Okay, cool. Zero mana vengeance. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, 
So I don't, I don't, I, I want to save Ruination. I don't really want to play it right now. Um, Spectral Matron, you know, just gets me a 6-6 six, six in play. But that's about it there. We could heal our Nexus for 5, but then I'm, I'm not really doing anything besides that. No, maybe I just do this. So yeah, if I, if I cast Withering Will, I'm looking at 9 plus 1 for mana. And again, it just kind of gets it out of my hand, so it's a, it's a card, you know, because I don't really want to Targon speak the Withering Will, right? Oh, that's going to be uh, fun to deal with. Those all look like they cost a lot of mana still. Yeah, the Living Legends would have refilled our mana to 8. It doesn't, like, fill us up to 10 if we don't have 10 mana gems. Yeah, it's just however many mana gems you have, it fills it up to that. Kind of the perfect draw. Darn. But that was the card that defeated me. Yep. Lame Captain Farron creating three decimates. It's like we were going to be able to like atrocity that Ledros and stuff too. Okay, it gets at least a slower deck, right? Like this is a deck that's not doing a bunch of Nexus damage. Um, you know, they, they're not playing Captain Farron. Um, I could keep Elise, I guess, but no. We need to find Targon's Peak. We are so bad at finding Targon's Peak. Well, I guess I guess I will keep Elise. We will keep a lot of Elise. These old eyes still see far and clear. In Avarosa's name. You won't suffer long. So if they block the one one, I could play. Double crawling sensation and level up Elise. You dare. Faces of the old ones. Struggle. No, that sounds like a ramp deck. I could also just play the other frenzy skitter and not the second Elise. I guess that's probably better. Yeah, it's it's better to play the frenzy skitter and keep this in case in case they kill this Elise. What was that? Catalyst. Catalyst to get Moon Silver. I hope they just made something that originally cost eight, cost less mana, so now this doesn't actually ramp them. Nope, they still have something that costs more than eight. Okay, we got a Targon Speak Mirror. Cool. We got our own Aurelian Soul. Hello, Runeterra. Let's rock. Mm, I don't know. I was thinking like this would like refill my mana. But 
but actually I think I think I should have taken like the, the nine mana one, honestly. Yeah, I should have taken the, the nine mana card. Like that's a better card than what this Living Legends can be. So I, I took the wrong card, but um hopefully this works out right here. Turn six kill. Yeah. There we go. GG's. So how about that? My opponent played She Who Wanders on turn five and Feel the Rush on turn six, and we killed them on turn six. So there we go. That's that's our Shadow Peak. We uh, <laughs> we had a. That's our best way to win is have our opponent play Targon's Peak. That helped us out. So that we got zero mana ruination and then got to Vengeance there, 10-10, and uh, you know, then got to just Atrocity, our Aurelian Soul. Um, but yeah, as you can see, like we were, we were pretty slow. Um, Scouts is a great deck, and our deck is you know a little bit too slow and meme-teary for Scouts. Um, and that's okay. I think that one thing I think that could be better about this deck is maybe like this removal. Like, I don't think that Sunburst is going to be necessary in this deck if we're playing Vengeance and Ruination already. I, so I would, I would not recommend playing Sunburst. I think that you could play like, like Withering Whale looked pretty decent. Um, so I could see playing another Withering Whale and then playing, or even just playing a couple of two mana removal spells, right? Like, I think that's, I think instead of those Sunbursts, get a couple of like these things, like Unspeakable Horror, Vile Feast, probably Vile Feast in this deck. Or you can have like the the spiderling be a nice little blocker for you. Um, I think that that's I think that that would be a nice little upgrade. Get rid of that sunburst. Get um, you know a little removal spell that can also block uh, for you for a turn for just like the two mana that can allow you to throw that in there. Just something super small. I think I would probably recommend changing that one. Uh, and okay, yeah. Something says grass over whale. Honestly, I could see that too. Like, I think that because so I think I think I would go like three vile feast. And that could be good against like the one health things, and then like instead of three skitter, and then play like two grasp. Maybe just one spectral. Like the spectral matron thing's kind of cool, but not really that necessary. Maybe, maybe there we go. Get like three grass, three vile feast in there, and then you can uh, just play like one matron. You don't really need two of those. There. So there's there's a couple. There's just a couple small changes. That I think would really help out the deck. Okay, um, so that's Shadow Peak. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Uh, I've got any ideas for improving it, or or just like if you if you would build a deck with Targon's Peak and Ledros, how would you do it? Let me know over there on YouTube. Um, I'd be interested in hearing that. You know, like this this was a viewer submitted donation deck here. Um, all. Well, I guess the first three. I guess the the fourth one we kind of built, but like the the first three of these are all like viewer submitted decks. These weren't weren't ones that I put together myself, but it was inter It was fun to play. It was interesting to play. Um, but yeah, if you're if you're uh, like the deck, if you want to try out like Targon Speak with Ledros, what would you do? How would you change it up? All right. So, but but that's all I got here for Shadow Peak. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.